Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to insert serial numbers automatically in Excel with no dragging. And these serial numbers or row numbers will automatically update if you delete a row or if you insert a row or even if you add a row. So this is a large Excel sheet and I want to insert a column on the left. So I select this column, right click and insert column. And this will be my serial number column. So I match the formatting with the header and I want to start my numbers from here. So the old method, which is the drag method is that you put first two numbers, then you select both of these numbers, hover over the lower right corner. When you see this cross, you drag. But if your data is very large, like this Excel sheet, which has hundreds of rows, then this dragging becomes very difficult and annoying. In this method, Excel finds a pattern, follow the pattern as long as you keep dragging. So we are going to see how you can avoid this and put these serial numbers automatically. So first we will put the normal style numbering like one, two, three, and then I will also show you if you want any custom style numbering. For example, you want to put NO in front of one, two, three, or you want to put serial number or any text ABC in front of your row numbers or serial numbers, how to achieve this function. So the first method is that you put the cursor in the first cell from where you want to start your serial numbers. And in the formula bar, you type equals rows. Rows is an Excel function. And let me first explain how this rows function works. This rows function takes any data range, any array. For example, if I give it two cells, A2 to A2, which is essentially the same cell, then it will return me the number of rows between these two cells, including the rows on which those two cells reside. So in this case, it will return one. If I give rows A2 colon A5, so it will return me how many rows are between A2 and A5. So these will be four rows the second row, third, fourth, and fifth. So now we can remove this image from here and let's see how we can use this rows function. So I want to start from A2. So I can click in B2 and then put my left arrow to reach A2. And then I want to fix this A2 because I will be counting number of rows from A2. And I want to use this formula. I will not be dragging, but I will be using the formula in all the rows underneath. So therefore, I want to fix this cell reference. To do that, you click F4 or in some laptops, you have to click function key and F4. So now this cell is fixed. Then I put a colon to make a range. And then my starting cell will be A2. So therefore, again, I select A2. To do that, I select B2 first and then put my left arrow and then I close this parenthesis and I press enter. So now the function has returned me the value one because there is one row between A2 and A2. Now the one way is that you click here and you drag, but we don't want to drag. So there is a name box on the left hand side. This area is called name box. As you can see, when I hover over here, it says name box. So I will be using this name box and I will be putting this formula in all of my sheet. The only thing I need to know is that how many rows I have in total. So there are 585. So by using this name box, I can put the formula in all those 585 rows. So to do that, I click in the name box A2 to A585 and I press enter. Now it has selected all the column. Now to put the formula in hundreds of these rows, I have to press control D on my keyboard. So when I press control D, now the formula has been placed in all of those 585 rows without dragging. So for example, if I click here, you can see the formula says rows between A2 to A5. So there are four rows. And my serial number is four here. Similarly, when I go down, the formula is changing. The first cell is fixed. Therefore, we are using the absolute reference of A2, $A, $2. So this is one way of putting automatic serial numbers in Excel. And now I want to show you the second method, which is by using row function instead of rows. So the row function is very simple to use. It returns the value of the row number. So currently I am in row number two. So if I use is equal to row, start parenthesis and end parenthesis without any argument or without anything inside the parenthesis, I will get the number two. But I want to start my serial numbers from row two. So therefore, I simply have to 
minus 1 from this. So some don't like this minus 1 therefore I suggested the rows method. So now again by using the name box I put a 585 here enter and control D. So the formula will be transmitted to hundreds of rows without dragging. And for example if I delete this which is the serial number 9 if I delete this row so to delete a row right click and delete row and the serial numbers are automatically updated whether you use the rows method or the row method these will automatically be updated. So let's control Z to undo and again the serial number will be updated. But now let's say I put another entry here my serial number is not increasing automatically. So now the third method I'm going to show you is by using the function sequence. If you use the function sequence then your serial numbers will automatically be increasing if you are adding more rows to your data. And now we are going to use the sequence function to add the serial number. So is equal to sequence and one way of adding the sequence is that I simply give it a sequence of 585 and it will add 585 numbers if I know how many numbers I have as you can see I should have entered 584. So if you know the number of rows then you can simply use is equal to sequence in the parenthesis number of rows and you will get the serial numbers. But this is not the best way to do that. The best way is that you use the sequence function with some other options and the option is that we are going to give it another function which is the function count a and what count a does is it counts not empty cells. So we are going to ask count a function to count the not empty cells in column b because our new entries will be coming in column b and then we will subtract 1 because the first row is header and then we will close this parenthesis and press enter. So now we don't have to use the name box the sequence function understands that whenever there is an entry here the sequence function will now count the entries in column b. So first entry second entry it will minus 1 and put it here. So now because this cell is empty so it will stop here. If for example I put another entry here press enter the serial number will automatically appear. Now the last thing in this video is how to customize this serial numbers. So if I want to put some text before this. To do that we have to concatenate this sequence function and that is very simple before this sequence you put and and whatever word you want to use for example if you want to use serial number you put those words in quotation marks and press enter. Now your serial numbers will be customized to the way you want and now if you want to learn more about Excel there is a playlist Excel tutorials on my channel you can watch all Excel tutorials. Thanks for watching if you have any question you can put in the comments. See you next time.